thing is very springy. The spring on the thing is very springy in spring. It's like the rain. The rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. Oh, don't get me started on that. I'll be like, it'll be like, um, I was going to say Dr. Doolittle, but that's not the right thing. What is it? My Fair Lady. So, in Hartford, Hereford and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. So I've got a BBC voice, apparently. Anyway, um, this is not the BBC. This is Kraft. So, today, what I thought we'd have a do, have a, do, have a play with, is making some of these brads. Janet Brad, Janet Brad, Janet. Anyway, um, shut up, Dave. Um, which are great for just kind of like just being a little embellishment. Let me just get put those down because I can't hold them all. I'm not Edward Scissorhands or Dave Slot Fingers. Um, although I appear to be Dave Slot Fingers. Um, so yeah, so I've been making these over the last few days. Um, and what it is, they're made out of, I'll just show you what I've got, what I've done, like there are hundreds of them, well, no, there aren't, there's 21 of them, Dave, don't lie, um, I'll show you that one in a second, so yeah, so there's, they're little brads, okay, and they've got their little pocket, well, this one's got a little pocket on it, you see, um, and they're just nice embellishments, now, they're made with these, which are, this was inspired by uh, Tracy Fox, I think. Um, and those people that follow Tracy Fox on Instagram will probably, uh, not Instagram, on uh, YouTube will have probably have seen these. But these are um, paper binders, they're called. Um, they're available from Amazon. T a box of 200 cost me uh eight pounds something so they're like four pence a piece and they're, they're meant to slot into each other and hold paper together so they're a bit stronger version of these and bigger version of these but i also thought well how can i how can i adapt it so i have made a whole load out of those but i've also made some out of wherever they have gone oh they're here so these two are made using some of the standard paper fasteners um so i just thought you know if you don't have any if you don't have any of those things which i ended up going and buying some because she'd said oh you could make this and you know whenever you see somebody and you're inspired by them and then they end up making like five um and you bought 200 of the damn things so i thought well you know have a place if you if you like doing it and then decide whether you're going to buy it so these are made using just the paper fasteners now you, they don't have to look like this you can build it up and then just put you know another layer over the top but i actually like to make the feet i made a feature of the pin bit in the middle so we are going to make some of these so i'm going to make some using these but i'm also going to make some using the the paper binders okay so um so it's great there's another great way as well you know i'm a big fan of using up all your scraps and things it's a great way of using up scraps um and bits of paper and that sort of thing because it doesn't take much and you can those little tiny bits of paper that you think oh i'm going to do something with and you never do then maybe this is the time to pull those out do something with them and if you're not going to do something with them say goodbye you know um, I've I did have a clear out of some of my scraps of paper because I wasn't doing anything with them. The reason I'm going to make these are for I'm going to make a whole series of different things to be able to put into this new um, journal. So Brian has kindly you know what Brian's like he, he's a prolific journal maker. Um, I don't ever get round to making many um, journals. I end up making all the ephemera and stuff to go in it. So. Um, it was kind of inspired because um, Janie B uh, journals on Etsy. Um, she shared some of her files with me, um, and you know said go and make something, and you know just as long as you like name me, tag me, that sort of thing. That's great. So um, it was it inspired this, which is going to be a spring journal um using some of her paper so this is her paper so this is wallpaper on the outside with some napkins and underneath okay um 
but then some of these papers are from Janie B so this is as well on that side as well this one as well is hers so there's a few in here and what I thought was let's make a journal and make all the ephemery bits that go into it and then what I can do is I can then you know say hurrah I've actually finished the journal so um but that's that's kind of a coming up thing that's going to be a progressive thing it's not going to happen today what we're going to do is going to make these little brad things okay so um so what did i what how did i start well um you can start at the very beginning because apparently it's a very good place to start when you sing you begin with do re mi don't get me started on that we've already had one song no two songs so um basically get all out all of the little scrappy bits of paper even your packaging things like that that you don't that you're not you know you kind of thought oh, i quite like that i'm going to keep it i don't know what i'm going to keep it for okay what you will need is you'll need some strong card as well so you're bound to have off cuts remember i've been making lots of stamps so i've got lots of off cuts of of paper um so you're going to need those let's put that decorative stuff out of the way for the time being okay now if you're going to make these ones in order so that you don't get a dome where you've you know tried to stick something over the top of this i mean you could stick this to the back but what i found is when i tried to stick it to the back they just snap off and then they fall out um so the way to get around that is now if you're what you're going to have to do is you're going to make it have to make like a a hoop like this okay so you're going to make a hoop like that and the way to do it is i tried doing it the wrong way around i tried cutting the the big circle first and then cutting the little circle out of that that doesn't work because you can't get the little circle in there to line it up so you have to start with the little circle first so um one of the things that you you could do is you could make you could just make some like you know circles on you know if you've got a scan and cut or a um a silhouette or a, a cricket which i've got all of them um <laughs> you can make them you know using you can have it done like that or if you've got some punches all i've done is i've used a small punch you don't know what the size is it's a small hobbycraft punch and then the next size up hobbycraft punch so i'm punch the small hole first okay and then i what i've got to do is i've kind of just got to eyeball line it up now so far it's all gone okay but pressure's on. Tongue's out, pressure's on. So there's one. Doesn't matter if they're not perfect. As perfect as you can make it, that's all that you have to do. Two. And then go for another one. Go for gold. Three. Just line it up. There you go. And that's it. That's those three. So that's that's the three that will kind of sit around yeah now you need one that is just a solid one okay and this is just going to be an undecorated one just so you can see how it's made first okay now what i'd need to do is make need to make a hole in the center of there and knock everything over at the same time A hole. you could use a hole punch to make that hole that's fine and then all that's going to do is sit through there and then these you'll stack these up and they'll sit around there and then you can make that little pin like that okay so um you want to decorate the back that's entirely up to you you might just want to color it in um what i've found is if you're going to color these in I've tried the alcohol markers and I had to make so many layers to be able to get it a deep enough colour that actually a Sharpie was better. So I'm just going to get a Sharpie. I don't know what colour it is. So all I did was I just coloured it in with a Sharpie. So you can use any colour you like. The darker colours tend to be best. So Dave has picked up a, a light colour because like, you can really tell the contrast on there, can't you? Not. Yeah, can't see the contrast on there. I can. I bet you. I definitely know that you can't. I know what it's like with um, watching somebody do something. Let's try a red one. Let's 
do red. There you go, the contrast is there, so you can definitely see that this colours this, this in much better. Now obviously with the Sharpie, it is an alcohol based, so just be careful if you get it over your fingers, you'll be wearing that tomorrow in tomorrow's meeting. Although if you're online and zooming it, you, you can hide your hands, can't you? So, so just colouring all of that in. There we go, so we've got a nice red middle to it. Um, and then, you know, you can decorate that with something. You could put, um, let's do some, I don't know, let's just make some. You're not going to see all of this, so. Dave, this is rubbish. This is only for me to show you how to make it. This is not a finished product. I don't even know what colour this is. What colour is this? Oh, it's, mm, brown. Brown. That's the only colour that, as a child, I could ever make with, with paints. Brown. That's basically every other every colour mixed in together creates brown so you learn the you learn the hard way Dave mm, pink I'm just filling it in I'm not, not worried about what it looks like you might think it's horrible and guess what so do I <laughs> but it's so that you can see what I mean so you you can color it in put that in like that and that round the edge all that pink and that that red Ooh, it's very on trend there we go so we'll just glue that together so what i need to what you need to do is you need to glue the back or the pin on with quite a strong glue now fabritac works the best thing for grip is um glossy accents in fact i'll use the glossy accents now um that's this is the best it's not the most expensive uh, sorry it's not the cheapest glue in the world to use it's quite an expensive thing to use as a glue um i like to use it as a glossy accent um but you could use like jewelry glue or something like that because that would definitely bond it so let's put that in there you've got your fingers you've got glue all over your fingers dave and that's all over the the thing now and all i did was i used a peg to hold it while i got on with other things otherwise you there a while holding that down okay so you can glue these together now so after i've made this one i'll make another one but without demonstrating it so just making one and it will hopefully turn out better because it always goes wrong when you try to try to do something when you try to show somebody it never works out anybody that's ever trained anybody at work will know that feeling you're able to do your job as soon as you suddenly have to break it down into you know the components of how you do your job then you know the trainee has no idea what you're talking about and to be fair neither do you so uh, let's Put some colour on the edge of this. All oh, right, mix of colours, Dave. Ooh, lovely, tasty choice. There's something in the middle as well. A tasty choice. There you go. That on there. And what we'll do is we'll put something around the edge as well. Let's find something. Bit of book paper, I think, maybe. All right, if you're, if you're punching with book, with book paper, make sure it's folded and you've got a few layers of it. Otherwise, you'll, you'll find that it gets jammed in the cutter. No, you do the small first, Dave. You just said that. I keep all the little bits because they're great for little embellishments on other things. Oh, dear, I've just encouraged you to keep things. I'm really sorry. I'll take that back. I'm just going to line that up the best I can. And get, then I'll pick which one I want to use. Oh, so you, you punch out the ones with the least amount of text on, Dave. That's a good idea. And then I'm going to stick this onto here. 
and I'll never use it because that back is definitely not me. <laughs> this bit's me. So, sorry, it's just suddenly gone quiet. You know when like you're thinking and like it's just I can't talk and think. Blimey. As I've said, I've you know I do multitask. I manage to breathe and talk at the same time. That's multitasking in my book. So there we go. Like I say, I will never use that pin, but there you go. You get you get the idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make a proper one. So remember, always punch your small hole first. Right, you need a straight edge in order to be able to cut against. So get rid of these. So I'm going to punch a background, and I think, so I, I, this is what I do, I keep all the things, so this is from Christmas, um, this is Christmas jellies, I think it was, I punch that bit out while I get that, yeah. so I might go for, yeah, go for that, punch that bit out, that's the front bit. And we need something for the background, don't we? Let's just have some. Just have some leaves and. The... Oh, I've done it again, Dave. You fool, foolish boy. Try that again, Dave. Right, for the background, I'm just going to have some leaves. There you go. How did that manage to do that? Cut it in half. <laughs> oh, there's a slot there which I didn't realise. Oh, dull. Never work with Dave, children or animals on live television. Okay, so for the background, the thing that I'm going to make the hole in, I've got this. About the middle. I'm going to get my. What colour shall I use? If I'm using that as the ring, I might use a purple and pick up that purple. So I'm just colouring in my brad. So. Beautiful day today, don't you think? It's been so lovely watching the. The birds, and I'll, well, I'd lay on the bed for a, a little while, fussing the dog, and I was watching the birds out the window, so that was really nice. And it's so oh, it's so nice to see some sunshine. Took the, when I took the dog for a walk, that was nice as well this morning. So, um, yeah, okay, so we'll put that in there, and we'll use. Where's my peg gone? Oh, it's there. <laughs> we'll use the peg to hold it together. I'm doing this bit first so I can get on with the rest of it. So, you know, it might not be your thing to make, but, you know, it's just another thing to to do. And I tell you now, I've spent some serious cash on buying brads, like decorative brads. Um, and I've never thought about it making my own. So thanks, Tracy Fox. You know, although you did make me go out and buy... My bank manager wasn't happy that, you know, this was last month. At the end of last month's wages, that was me buying that from Amazon. Um, and then, you know, I've been making them ever since. That sort of, I've turned into a prolific um, thingy maker, tag maker. Tag, brads, that's what I mean, Dave. So for building, for building up the ring, okay, it doesn't matter what you use because, like, you're not going to see it, so... And then always do the small first and then the large. So most people can eyeball it. You can eyeball the middle. Oh. Sorry, I, I have to, I, 
when I'm concentrating, I cannot, I cannot seem to talk. Well, I can clearly because I'm concentrating and talking now. So I've just blown my theory out of the window, haven't I? So, yeah. Um, so I'm just going to use these to build the layers up. Let's just get rid of. This. Let, let's see the wood for the trees, Dave. Move those out of the way. So I'm just going to build these layers up. You do get very gluey fingers doing this, and if you're not a fan of glue, which I know some people aren't, then you know it might be a job to give the kids. So not oh well, not that I'm suggesting that you use children as slave labour, um, <laughs> but you know they don't mind getting gluey. I I never minded as a child getting gluey. I'm, I don't mind getting gluey now, but like there are some things I just don't like the feel of on my hands. Um, sand. Don't like the feel of sand. Dry sand is fine. Wet sand, oh, blah, 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 blah. makes me feel. Blah. And then when you see people playing with wet sand, <laughs> anyway, moving on swiftly. Velvet, oh, I can't stand the sound feel of velvet. I, well, no, actually, tell a lie. I can. I like some velvet. I just don't like the. I don't like the cheap velvet. I don't like the velour velvet. I like real velvet. Um, <laughs> perhaps I've just got standards. Maybe I am posh, like Brian keeps saying I am. I don't know wh why he thinks I'm posh. I don't. I don't think I'm posh. Um, I have to say, by the way, so I normally have distress inks. So Tim Holtz distress inks, and these are um, Schiphol. Um, artistry, artistry ink, and I think Clarity sell these now. These were given so, um, so like Clarity stamps, you know, Barbara Gray sells these. Um, but these were given to me by Brian. He's given me a few of the colours because he doesn't use them. But this colour and this colour are two. That I don't think um, Tim Holtz really has got in his range and I love these two colours. There are quite a few actually in this in this range that just don't you know don't seem to be in Tim Holtz. But I really love this kind of whiny colour. Now it I he does have one like he's got a crushed cr uh, seedless preserves but I think that's that's too purple for me and then he's got um another one that's similar but not not this colour, this is really burgundy it's just really nice, it just adds that kind of like warmth of age you know, like an old book type thing to it so anyway enough about ink so there we go and I like the way that it actually has it, so it, it kind of folds out and you never lose the lid which is a thing that I'm always doing with the Tim Holtz, and also you've got a little Thing in here, so somewhere to put your pad. So, anyway, um, I am not, I'm not endorsed by them in any way, shape, or form, but I do like their colours. So, hashtag just saying. So just going round and just kind of inking the inside, because like otherwise you'll it'll be really white on the you know on the inside ring. So. Giving that a bit of a. Now I can hear next door's kids playing as well, so I was kind of kind of tuning in to what's going on out there. You know, it's the only place I can pick up any kind of like information about what's going on in the real world. So then I'm just going to put that round like that, and that'll be done. So, like I say, good way for. Cause you often see like nice images on things like cereal boxes these days you know like the adult cereal boxes so you know the ones that are made for adults the things with nuts in um <laughs> tends to be the things with nuts in that's not quite set set dry set dry dry set yeah anyway just realized i've got that white edge now on the edge of that layer that i've just put on Go around it again, doesn't matter. There we go, so there you go. So that's 
so it's a little a little brad okay and like i say you could just put a solid layer over the top of it instead of doing making it decorative and then decorating the brad and just having a really thick like style button style okay so or you can use these so i haven't used any of the other bits you know i might do if i'm binding two pieces of paper together and and using that as the the top piece but let's just get a couple of those out so make when you're making these they are easier um and the other thing that is really good is you can go onto ebay and get these but old watch faces you could have an old watch face on on the front of one um and that's an, something else that i've been toying with so you can buy like look at these look at these great watch faces so you can have these um on them or you know you can have those as, as the brad but wouldn't that look good so anyway who knew you could buy old watch faces well i did because i searched ebay for a whole load of stuff i might put that one on so for this one all you need is you need a solid one so i'm going to take some black so i take a solid one at least one solid one in fact i'm going to have two on this layer on this one and i'm just going to glue those together the, the reason why i've got two is just because you know it, it thickens up the cardboard a bit and makes it a bit more resilient resilient is that the right term no not really thicker durable there you go that's a good word durable it makes it more durable um and now i'm going to take a top layer find something like here comes worcester to just check and make sure that we're all okay yeah we're okay oh do you want me to move the tripod oh you've just walked under the tripod worcester well done without taking it with you good boy You've been looking at those birds. You've been barking at the people. You haven't actually barked at anybody, have you? You haven't barked at anybody going past. You've obviously been sleeping because you're very warm, Worcester. So, yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you for licking the underside of my arm. That was lovely. <laughs> yes, you're a good boy. I know, but I'm doing a live, Worcester. As soon as I say live, he disappears. So... I'm just going to put this on this layer, and this this is just something I um, jelly plated. So, and I never use my jelly plate stuff. I like to have a play every now and again, and then don't actually, don't actually do anything with it. So, put that on there, okay? And then we might make a little might have a pocket on it. No, it kind of covers up what I want to what I like. There you go. So I might have put that on. Yeah, quite like that. So oh, there's two together I think there. Yes, there are two together. Well I'll spot it over. Oh they're hinged, they're staying together. So oh no they're not. I've split them up. So pop those on there those pop that on there so I'm doing that one as a portal style one okay I want anything else on there I don't want it left like that I think I'm happy with it like that so there's one just like that so I'm just going to make some tops for them and then I'll glue them to the brads in a minute um, this one I want to make as a. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm going to put. That, I'm going to use some of that on it. Let's find a bit that I really like. There you go. Wondered where it'd gone then. Get some backgrounds. Um, you can make them smaller if you've got a smaller punch. I don't. 
Uh, the only way I can make them smaller is if I use. Let's just. I will make a smaller one. Get some of that off. Is if I use my thing. Now, where is that? Let's hunt. I have a little die that is basically the right size for this. But I don't have a hole punch this size, so. down so basically I'm just going to punch a hole out of the cardboard I'd, if I'd like to have a few of those so that I, I didn't have to do it in do it that way down So you could use one that size, have that on the back of the background. Um, but like I say, I don't have a, a hole punch that size, and making lots and lots, watching me make lots and lots of those might not be the most stimulating thing you've ever seen in the world. Um, because these are a bit smaller, but they make a, it frames it nicely. So we'll do we'll make that one. Like I say, they might not be your thing. Oh, I, d I haven't turned comments on today, so I don't actually know whether anybody's actually watching me or whether I'm just talking to myself. So, um, I might just have been talking to myself for the last however long I've been going for. How long have I been going for? Half an hour. So, should have had the comments on. Sorry if you've, uh, if, sorry if you've been commenting and thinking we can't get his attention. The reason you can't get his attention is because I'm not paying you any attention. I haven't got the comments on. So, there you go. As it is, such as it is, such as maybe. Right, um, let's get some ones that are more colourful that are going to go into this journal. So, um, oh, hello. What do I want to do? Right, I want to have a solid one. So I was thinking, like, th with this new journal thing idea that, I've, that we've had, um, to make it more, not just about tulips, but make it very spring-like, so all of the nice spring flowers that you get this time of year. Well, hopefully it's spring. Fingers crossed. Hopefully spring has sprung. Um, so maybe have something else on the top of here. So I've got, like, these little ones that I've punched out. These are the ideal things to kind of have on the top, so you can have them at, a, at an angle or in the middle. There's a bit of that missing, so I can't have that in the middle because it would offend my sensibility, my brain. Oh, like that. So it's it's about making a good, you know, combination, a bit placing, isn't it? So I might take some more of this. Although this is a Christmas wrapping paper, you know. Let me get a few out because I folded it up so that it cut nicely. Um, let's have a look. Did I get anything that's maybe this orange one because it picks up on the orange on the background? Oh, quite like that. That one or, or that one. I quite like both of those. I think I might have that one. Yeah. We lost it then. Well, not that I ever had it. So just smearing it out on the background. Just so that when I push it down, it doesn't. All the glue doesn't. Huge. Splurge. Splodge, whatever it, the term is. So yeah, so that's that. And then you could, you know, I, don't stop there. You know, if there's something, an element of something you want on the on the front, so you might want to have a little word or something like that. Well, I don't know what that actually says, so I don't know whether I would put it on there. Um, scissors, Dave. It's 
ter it's terrible when they're like floral scissors in, on a floral background. It's like camouflage. I'm just going to cut this out and maybe have that on there. Whoa. Whoa. Good job of not juggling with knives. Well, he doesn't want me juggling with knives because... I'm not, I can't juggle, to be fair. I can't juggle with oranges, let alone knives. I don't know what it says, and I don't care. As long as it doesn't say... F off. <laughs> or such as like. So, just spread that glue out over the back. Pick it up with my gluey finger. Maybe put that on there. So I'm working in miniature today. What what a great thing to do with big pork pie fingers. So <laughs> there you go. There's another one. So they're just like fun things to sit and do. I mean, like you know, that you might, you guys might think, oh, that's really boring. I don't like the look of that. But you know, that's you. I'm me. You do you. I'll do me. Might have one of those. Whoa, steady, Eddie. Where's me die? The thing with the die as well is you can piece what you want and then it'll move <laughs> as, soon as, you, as soon as you put the bits together unless you've got a nice piece of washi tape that will glue it together without tearing the front off, which I don't. There you go. The thing is, I do all of the good things when I'm off camera. When I'm on camera, it's just a case of get something done. Like, you know, normally I would actually, there you go, clip that down, which I have now. There we go, get that one out. I like the way that it, what that does, that die makes a little, like a, I don't know, sewn edge to it. Punched edge. Punched edge. That get lost in there. I was lost in France. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where that came from. I'm sorry, I'll send it back. So I've got the receipt, I'll send it back. I quite like that on there. I quite like the, the brightness of it. The brightness. So I'm gonna cut a bit of that out. So this again is just something I've made with I think it was alcohol inks, to be fair. No, don't use that, Dave. That's actually a dye, not something for you to glue with. I'm going to have an offset like that, I think. Glue those two together. But, I mean, like, it's kept me... The, just doing these has kept me entertained for, for hours, although, you know, let's face it, small things please small minds, so... You know, and these are very small, so that says nothing about my mind. So, put that on there. I know it's offset. I did want it to be offset. I did say that out loud a minute ago. And I might put that on. The thing is, it's got very tiny, tiny little things on the back, and I wonder if I can... I can't think what they're called. Little, like posts, sticks, I guess that's what holds it onto the the clock itself, it, it does that, without the sound effects, it does that, so I'm going to put another piece on the back, kind of trying to glue it onto, so they don't stick out the back and hurt somebody, although it will only be me to be fair. It's going to hurt. So, but like I say, just a great way for using up little scraps and things and and clock faces. Like you're going to need to use up clock faces. Um, there we go. Just push that through. So yeah. Um, sorry. I, did somebody just say something to me? Do you mean sharpie pens that Dave has used? Oh, okay. Okay. So, I, I, you're obviously talking amongst yourselves, and I don't know what you're talking about, but you're talking about Sharpie pens. So, 
they're like these days they're so cheap so um sharpie pens sorry i'm just building the layers up so those those posts don't stick out the back so pop that on there but i really like the idea of using like little clock faces i mean it'd be great for you know making little pins for like alice in wonderland with an actual clock face not you know not just a a cardboard cut out of one so there we go they they've stopped sticking through the back now so i'm happy with that so there's a nice little there's a little clock face i mean you could put something over the the middle of the there you go that's what that one looks like um so you could put something over the the middle of the clock to kind of cover that bit up if you like but um it's entirely up to you oh blimey i've just saw seen son i've just saw I've just sawn my leg off. No, I've just seen on the screen, seen on the screen, oh, blimey, here we go with the rhyming, um, how dirty my fingers are. I'm really sorry. I've been gluing all afternoon, so I am, you know, I do wash, but, you know, it's the afternoon now, so I'll wash in the morning when I have a shower. So, put that one on there, I think. So, there's no real technique to this, so it's not like you, you're going to struggle but like you know punches are, are widely available although i do think that anything other than a um like the small round punches are hugely expensive so i was looking at an oval punch and like 16 pounds for an oval punch this size i am not paying that i'm sorry i am not i'm keeping my money in my in my wallet um you've got something about these yeah these were from amazon that's what they look like so i'm trying to keep the label still so you can kind of write it down um so yeah best best paper binders stroke washers pack of 200 i mean like you know it's eight pounds but like you can't go if you're a if you're a prolific crafter and you think you're going to use them then you know buy them but if you think you're not going to then make them out of the paper washer ones so um sorry i've got really horrible crummy fingers i'm very well aware i'm very aware self-aware of how dirty my fingers are now but you know we're crafters so we're probably used to seeing people with dirty fingers so i'm gonna have a bit of new not news this is not a news thing this is uh not newspaper is it dave what is it called music paper on there this is why my fingers are so dirty is because i use my fingers to spread the glue out so i'll stick that one on there and then what i could do is i could glossy accent that now obviously this won't be dry by the time that this is finished but i'm just going to put do some glossy accent on here just to highlight this the middle bit the music paper um and on some of them i used crackle accents which gives it a crackle obviously it being crackle accents so there you go um and I what shall I do? I'll make a little one. I'll make one with a little pocket now. I think. So, ba, 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 what am I gonna do? What colours shall I use? Shall I just sing to you? Please don't. I can hear you all saying, "Please stop singing, <laughs> stop singing, Dave." I'm stopped now. All right, the pain has gone. Yeah, I wish I'd doubled that paper because it didn't quite cut properly on there, but never mind. So I'll have that, and then what shall I have for the for the pocket? Yeah, that'll go nicely with it. Sorry, I've just realised I'm eating my beard now. Mm -hmm. So get your own beard if you want to eat one. Um. 
so yeah, I've oh, just saw, saw over here. So this is a printer mistake. So I used where my printer went haywire and I used to even cut that out because that's the kind of thing I do. That's how I roll, all right? So um, what, I've d what I did was I just cut this down a little for the pocket. And then I used the small, did I use the small die? I, can't, I do remember using the small die. What I used was, not, not small die, small punch. What I used was a pair of tweezers to be able to get it in there. Can I do it again? I can. Just to cut out a little notch. There we go. Yeah, so let's glue those together. Um, I've I've revolutionised my fussy cutting. You know I don't like fussy cutting. You all know that I don't like fussy cutting. I've told you enough times now I don't like it. And I was going to be looking to... You know how you can, like, send out your ironing to get somebody else to do it because you don't like doing that? I was looking for people to send my fussy cutting out to. But even better, I've bought myself... A new mat for my scan and cut and I'm just getting my scan and cut to do it all for me so yesterday I spent I don't know an hour or so feeding the scan and cut machine with all of my fussy cutting well not all of it most of it and I've got loads done it's great um, I used to do it on there but then the mat I, I, what I really don't like about the scan and cut is the mats are terrible. So they don't stay sticky at all. They're really rubbish, to be fair. Brother, I hope you can hear me. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. And he's rubbish. Um, but I have found a non-brother mat that goes in the brother machine um, that works so much better and stays sticky because my cricket machine the mats on that are brilliant they, they're sticky forever basically well not forever forever is a long time isn't it um but they're they stay sticky whereas the the brother really is is rubbish so the the people that make the generic brand not the brother brand they're based in leeds and I saw them on, um, so these are all the things that, it's, it's fussy cut for me. Um, I saw them on, um, just want something to go in there. I might just have a bit of that. That might go in there, yep. Yeah. Do I want that? Might have that instead. Just trying to give it a wiggly edge. Um, sorry, stop talking, didn't I? Sorry, stop talking. Um, yeah, so they're based in Leeds, but I saw them on Amazon, and I just thought, oh, I don't know, give it a try. I'm not sure. Should I? Should I not? Is it worth risking? Anyway, I risked it, and I'm glad I did because it's brilliant, cheaper as well. So that's the other thing about scanning cut mats there not they're not cheap they are fairly pricey i want that instead i might cut that out i'll keep it with a bit of a white border so yeah um i'm i'm chuffed with it so if you if you have a scan and cut and you don't like the mats try one of the, you can't get them anywhere else other than what well, i've tried to look for anywhere else but you can either go direct to this company's website, which is Artistics Limited, um, or you can buy them um, on Amazon. So I just bought it on Amazon. Might stick that like that. Hopefully that will go in there. Will it? Hmm. Might be a might be a bit of a squeeze. Might have to go in like that, though. In fact, I might. Anyway, sorry, talking. Keep talking, Dave. Keep talking. So, yeah, try it. Artistics. Um, 
there's mixed reviews on Amazon, but just like with any product, you know, I kind of like go for the middle ground. Don't always listen to what all the negative things are about things. I mean, there was people saying about it didn't stay sticky forever, basically. Well, no, no map's ever going to stay sticky forever. There we go. Little pocket. So anyway, let's stick these together. Where's my lid? There. There's so many round things on the desk, I can't actually see where the other the things I need are. So I'm going to stick these down. I'm going to use glossy accents to stick it with. I mean, my honestly, my um, Cricut mats are brilliant. They don't... I've bought some generic ones of them, and they're just as just as good. So they're not. It's not like they're better. They're just as good. So I'm just going to use a use a peg to hold that down. Well, you know me. I'm a fan of my pegs for being another hand. So just gluing. That's my little pocket one. Another peg. Um, glue this one now. Oh, need some more out the box. Um, just be careful. The the these bits are sometimes a little bit sharp, but you know they're meant for offices. Really, they're not really meant for crafting. So they've not been polished off you know like a one of those other split pins that we've used today one of the common garden ones they're tend they tend to be smoothed off because they know kids were, are going to use them well these aren't meant for you know craft these are meant for office so just feel not not that i'm saying that office workers deserve to be sliced open but you know just be careful is what i'm saying I just I do like pegs for that. I like the fact that I can Oh and then I nearly picked that one up, which is the glossy accents one. You don't we don't want to be doing that now, Dave, do we? So doing the wrong thing. I'm just sticking it down. So anyway, this is my take on the Tracy Fox thing. You know, you do you do you, I'll do me. And so on and so forth. But this is my twist on it. And I don't know whether it was Tracy Fox's idea. But, you know, it's... It is what it is. So, she's been credited for it. I've, I've told you all about where I got the idea from. So, and that's it. Although I have seen a few people who have been doing stuff that I have been doing... Um, some of the bigger names and they've not credited me for it so you know I'm starting to think okay then fine just because they're big and I'm not well I am big my waist is huge so anyway so that's it so this is what we've this is what we've been making so this is this was I started with this one which is terrible this is clown like um, this is the the other one that I made that was like that using the the standard split pin not don't use try don't try and use split peas because you'll get a whole other thing from making th these with split peas um and then this is the one with the little clock face on it sorry it's that way up dave 12 at the top um that's the one with the clock face on that's just a little button style one um this is that little one with the pocket in it. So these, this comes out, out of here. Yeah. Um, and there's this one. This one with with the word on it. I don't know what it is. I think it's a composer. Oh, no. Again, nearly touched the glossy accents one. I'm, I'm naughty for that. Sticking my finger in wet glossy accents. Um, and then that's the, the other one. So, yeah. So, like I say been making a lot of these you know some of them like these with crackle accents on the top um some of them are you know just 
done the, just a ring within a ring within a ring a circle like a spiral and a wheel within a wheel never ending or beginning on an ever spinning wheel anyway like a snowball on a mountain or a car on a carnival balloon anyway i'm going and before i like drive you mad with that song <laughs> so, thanks very much for watching me today um i hope you've en enjoyed what we've done um so if you want to find me on um youtube uh my youtube channel is dash underscore of underscore dave um and you know come along come and have a look um follow me if you wish uh you can follow me around the supermarket if you like but like you'll find that i i'm terrible at supermarket shopping i forget something i have to go all the way back to, down the other end so you'll get a lot of walking in if you're following me around the supermarket anyway shut up dave carry on with it um yeah follow me um on youtube um and um i'm gonna love you and leave you and like i always say i love you without exception until you give me a reason not to so don't give me a reason not to i hope the lighting was okay today i've just used natural light today so hopefully you've been able to see what i've been doing um and i love you all mwah, mwah, mwah. lots of kisses <coughs> lots of hugs and i will see you all very soon you take care folks have a great day bye I'm gonna sing to you while I find the stop button. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. Bye, folks.